So I wanted to do this live, but apparently my channel does not meet the eligibility requirements because uh, it's a small channel. So I'll just spit this out right now. I felt the need of, to say something. I am very, very concerned about the direction that we're headed in politically and especially with the direction of the left. I mentioned, I think, in my last video about how the left was effectively destroyed. I think there's a functional left uh, and a philosophical left. And the basically the philosophical left, not to make this complicated, they're people who uh, are lefty in principle, but they don't do anything. And when they do take action, I mean, other than write essays or something like that, when they do take action, it's basically voting for a Democrat. That's different than a functional left, which does other things. I won't go into specifics right now, but they don't involve voting. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, what makes it terrible, here's what makes this terrible, is that once you vote for the Democrats, you become invested in your vote. So there are very few people like David Sirota, for example. You need to follow David Sirota if you don't on Twitter uh, and look him up on YouTube. He has been interviewed many times. Um, he actually decided to vote for Biden, but then he's very harsh on Biden. That makes him an exception. Now, from a philosophical point of view or whatever, I sort of disagree with him voting for Biden. There are reasons for that have been expressed all over YouTube already by other people better than I. Uh, so I won't go into that, but I will say that I can at least respect that point of view. What I'm saying is that when people vote for someone like that, they become invested in defending that person. And then that changes the way that they think. Uh, and we know this from experience. And if you pay attention to people who voted for Biden or voted for Clinton or voted for Obama, you will see that. Uh, and you see these people, these politicians, gradually moving the left to the right. So the idea that you can move Biden to the left is funny because in practice it works the other way around. Don't believe me? Just look at the, the numbers having to do with drone warfare. The Democratic Party opposed drone warfare under George W. Bush. They began to support it. And here I'm talking about the rank and file began to support it. Uh under Obama. I can list other examples. Anyway, so in this article that I read having to do with Senator Cornyn criticizing Biden's appointment of near attendant to the OMB, the Office of Management and Budget, the criticism was, how can you appoint someone like near attendant who insults politicians, insults senators or whatever, on Twitter? That is very inappropriate because you need to work with the Congress. So then what happened? What was the opinion piece about? The opinion piece was, you guys are hypocrites because that's exactly what Donald Trump did, right? I'm just going to cut right, right to the chase. There are two problems with that. Number one, if Al Gore is a hypocrite because he uses a private plane and has a huge carbon footprint, physics does not care. It is irrelevant whether Al Gore is a hypocrite or not. Uh, Global climate change is still a thing. It's irrelevant whether Cornyn is a hypocrite or a liar. Neera Tandon is still an internet troll. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is when you do this, when you say to Democrats, look, Cornyn criticized her and Cornyn is a hypocrite, what you do is you take off all the hot air and the, all the hot air from the room, the narrative, and you refocus it and into instead of criticizing Neera Tandon, instead of the dealing with the left's criticism of Neera, you remove that and you turn it into the left now has to defend her against the slings and arrows of the Republicans. And you tell Democrats, and they catch on fairly quickly, blue team good, red team bad. Therefore, if red team hates this blue team member, she is one of us. She is one of us to use the uh, fairly obscure movie quote, okay? This is a problem, and this is what I call circling the wagons. Both of those things are important, and I plan to talk about this more maybe in a better video in the future, 
All right. Talk to you soon, guys.